Hello and welcome to today's video. We recently purchased my wife a new electric bike and like most bicycles the chain runs in between the two chain guards. Unfortunately I had a mishap while loading the bike onto the bike rack before I built this bike ramp. Now all that's left of the chain guard are these studs. Fortunately the bike was still under warranty and the good folks at Electric sent me some replacement parts. I'm going to show you how I installed those so let's get after it. I thought maybe Electric would just send me the outer half of the chain guard that was broken. Especially when I sent them the picture you just saw. But it turns out they told me they were sending an entire replacement crank and crank arm. They also sent this crank puller and a red handled wrench to use with the puller. I'll show you how this works soon. Lastly, this is the crank assembly itself. You can see how the crank arm, chain guards, and chain gear teeth are integrated into this one piece. The crank puller is in two pieces. This is the crank puller spindle, and this is the outer barrel. You can see that it is hollow and is threaded on both the inside and outside. These outside threads will get screwed up into the old crank assembly. Then we will begin to screw the spindle up inside the barrel like this. You can see the spindle tip begin to protrude from the other side of the barrel. In theory, the deeper the spindle is threaded, the more the barrel and crank assembly is pulled outward, effectively pulling the crank off the shaft. We begin the operation by removing the right side pedal. Technically, you could leave this on for additional leverage for the upcoming step, but I find it easier to remove the pedal now. Removal of the chain is also optional, but if you are going to remove it as I am, consider protecting the bike frame from grease and scratches from the chain like this. I grabbed the derailleur with my gloved hand and while taking the pressure off the chain, removed the chain from the crank assembly and gently lay it over the protected frame area. Next, remove the crank bolt slash dust cover by turning it counterclockwise. Our crank spindle tip is going to need to fit inside this highlighted area. As such, if you need to purchase a crank puller tool, make sure for this bike that the tool is specifically made for a square taper bottomed bracket. Thread the barrel in by hand making sure not to cross thread it. Pre-greasing this part may be a good idea. I'm using the wrench provided by Electric to tighten the barrel. Next, the spindle is threaded inside the barrel until it stops, which means the spindle tip is touching the crankshaft. As I begin to turn the spindle clockwise, it is taking much more force to turn than I anticipated. I am holding onto the crank arm to counteract my pressure. Everything seems to be going okay, and then... The threads inside the crank puller have stripped. I decided to back off the spindle, tighten the barrel even tighter to perhaps grab some new threads and try again. Note how loose the spindle threads are inside the barrel. And nope. This is a cheap tool and it's broken and the crank assembly didn't move an inch and now I'm just standing in the rain. I contacted Electric again but they said they couldn't help me. They advised taking the bike to a professional for the crank assembly removal. Instead, I'm going to order a better tool. While I wait overnight, I decided to let some penetrating oil do some of the work. The next day, my new crank arm tool arrived. This one is from a company called Park, 
and comes highly recommended. It removes both splined Shimano Octolink and Isis Drive crank arms as well as our square hold arm. It has tight threads and feels very beefy and has a limited lifetime warranty. I'll post a link to it in the description section of this video. Two tips come with the tool and they are interchangeable depending on your need. They just pop off the respective clips like this. And then you could move this tip to the end of the barrel if you wish. For our purposes we require the smaller tip, so I'll put it back the way it came from the factory. On this hex end I like the fact that I can slide on my boxed end wrench. All of our penetrating oil has soaked into the crank threads. Remember I filled this up yesterday. That's a good thing. So now let's try again with our new heavy duty crank arm puller tool. Make sure the spindle is backed out of the barrel for this step. This barrel requires at least a 1 inch wrench and I don't have a regular wrench large enough, so I'll just use this adjustable one. Then once again screw in the spindle until it stops. As I mentioned earlier, I like the fact that I can slip on the boxed end portion of my wrench for additional leverage. Now I want to show you this part in real time. Again, the first turn takes a lot of effort. And the second turn was just about equal. The third turn was maybe a little easier, indicating good things are happening. At least the tool is not stripped. But by the end of this fourth turn, I could feel it ease up. And by the fifth attempt, I could turn the wrench all the way round and keep turning until, voila, it's off. You can see some leftover penetrating oil from the night before, so we're going to clean that off. And just so we don't have this problem again, I'm going to apply a thin film of anti-seize lubricant before mounting the new crank assembly. As we prep for installation, note the pedal on the opposite side is straight down. So we mount our new crank arm straight up and press in place. And for good measure, I tap it lightly a couple of times with a rubber mallet so that the crank bolt with its thin threads doesn't have to do all of the work of pressing the assembly up onto the shaft. The crank bolt slash dust cover is reapplied and tightened clockwise. The chain is mounted to the new crank assembly. And I give the arm a couple of spins to test the fit. Now there's not much of a chance you'd forget this step, especially when you go for your first ride, but just in case, don't forget to reapply the drive side pedal. Lastly, in my case, the frame protection tape I applied is removed. And now, all is right with the world, my wife is happy again, and this project is complete.